I'm going to break this down into four parts. First part, what do you need to be eating the week before the run? What do you need to be eating the day of the run? That is supply and iron. What do you need to be eating uh, the morning of the run? Okay, what time does the day start? 7 to 8. 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock. Okay, some 7, some 8. What time do you think you need to get up? 2 hours, 3 hours. Huh? 2 hours. Okay, first quick tip. I'll just jump to that part. Get up at 4 o'clock and then go back to sleep or then. Or get up at 3 o'clock and go back to sleep. Why do you need to get up and go back to sleep? Uh, the, 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 the third thing that I will talk to you about is during the race, what should you be doing? Okay, for those of you who are veterans, you are already heard. Those of you who are first time runners, I'll give you a few tips during the race what you need to do. Fourth and final thing is what most people don't do. Once you've rested the tail, you finish, oh yeah, I finished the race and all, everything goes to the wind. You need to be tough on. How many of you are over the age of 30 in this audience? Very, very specifically, you need to recover. Let me tell you why. Uh, uh, a 10k distance can damage your body. A 10 can damage your body long term. So, the part of the test is fueling. Eating the right food will really help you recover. Those under 30 don't feel that I don't need to do this. You want to be running for the next 20 25 years of your life. Your body is like an expensive car. Right? How many of you take it servicing every month? So that's the thought process. So let me start first. So what do you need to be doing this uh, this entire week? Any of you were there for the last lecture? Raise of hands. Last lecture, which was about three weeks ago. Okay, I'm quickly going to go into the top five foods that you need to be having this week. The top five foods that you need to be having this this week. Uh, from the from the from the last uh, from the last uh, seminar, which was over here. How many of you are doing beef fruit? Awesome dude, your oxygen has already gone up by 26. So two guys, let me tell you, beetroot. Take two beetroots, put it into a blender, put nimbu pani in it, blend it, start drinking it every day till the race. The reason is beetroot enhances oxygen carrying capacity by up to 13%. So these two guys have probably, if they're doing it for the last three weeks, have got a 13% higher oxygen absorption capacity. Now as an athlete, right? You require two things. You require oxygen and you require glucose. These two fuels are required for the combustion in your body. Beetroot is the number one oxygen enhancer. I use it in all my Olympic athletes. By the way, if you don't know my name, my name is Ryan Fernando. I am one of India's best sports professionals. I have half a dozen of the Indian cricket team, hockey players, Kushil Kumar, the wrestler. All these guys work on simple premises, things like beef food, milk. How many of you have milk allergy over here or can't drink milk? Okay, so about five or six people, your option over here is curd or yogurt or soya milk. But those of you can drink milk post, post the run. Okay, you probably finished right now. What you should be doing for the next week is if you finish a run, Within 5 to 10 minutes of finishing the run, please consume a glass of milk. Milk is one of the best recovery agents available on the planet. I repeat, milk is one of the best recovery agents on the planet. How much? A glass of milk is good, then go and do your breakfast. Okay? In addition to milk, eggs. Okay? Eggs. An egg is a complete protein. I, I don't have time to explain to you what is a complete protein, but just take it this way, uh, if you had to buy a, a, a vehicle or a car that is complete with all the accessories, okay, then what car would you choose? Okay, there are so many options out there. But 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 the car of the year in the sedan version apparently I read yesterday was the Elantra, which has all the features and everything and it won many awards and everything. Egg is like that. It's got all the features, all the vitamins, all the minerals in it. Now. I know there are you out there who are saying, you're pure vegetarians, we don't eat eggs. Raise your hands. Who, who? Good. So there's about, about two dozen people in here. Your option should be paneer, cottage cheese. So if you can't do the milk and the egg, do milk and cottage cheese or paneer. That will really. How much? I would say that anyone who's a runner, your, your portion serving can be done by your fist. Can you close your fist? This is your portion serving. Eat your heart's content, 
What's the size of your heart? Okay, so if your heart's content in that size, that could be a portion. So your glass of milk and the egg should be able to fill into that. You know that much. Now, if you eat five eggs and six glasses of milk, that's not a heart's content. That's your full body's content. Okay, so go easy. Most of you are running for fitness to get your body back into shape or to be in shape continuously. So I've gone with beef fruit. I've gone with uh, milk. I've gone with uh, with eggs. A uh, question that somebody will ask me, when do I take beetroot? You can take beetroot any time of the day. Scientific studies have shown three hours before a performance, beetroot works best. Three hours before a performance, beetroot works best. Now, if you're running at 7 o'clock in the morning, you've got to consume it earlier. So, if you're not running for gold, you don't need to get up at 3 o'clock in the morning. But if I were you, I would get up, have a glass of milk at 3 in the morning. Okay. Uh, probably put some uh, protein in that, okay, and go back to sleep. And get up again at 5, so that's digested, fueled your muscles, so you're getting up, your body has got some amount of nutrition because your last nutrition was the previous night, okay. So I've got three, uh, beetroot, milk, eggs. The fourth one, pineapple. Post run, this next week, anyone allergic to pineapple in here? So one, two, okay. The option for the option for pineapple uh, would be pomegranate, okay. But pineapple has something known as bromelain. Do you get soreness when you run? Like a lot of you feel a little pain soreness. How many of you feel soreness after run? If you don't feel soreness, I don't think you're running hard enough. It's as simple as that. You can ask any elite athlete. After every second or third session, they are sore. It's because you have pushed your boundaries. So if you're not getting sore, you haven't pushed your boundaries. Pineapple helps reduce the inflammation in your muscles. I know a lot of people pop painkillers and stuff like that. Don't pop a painkiller. Eat four bowls of pineapple. In fact, pineapple is a fat burning food. You want to burn a little of the tires off? Three bowls of pineapple a day. It'll it'll reduce your appetite. It'll help you burn fat. So a lot of people, you know, they say, I try this diet, I try that diet, I do this. They come to my clinic. And they say, uh, Ryan, I've been practicing this so and so so and so diet, Atkins diet, GE diet, GM diet, South Beach diet, Cabbage diet, uh, Baba Ramdev diet. There is no one diet that fits everybody. Your diet is unique to you. You need to discover what is your capacity. 